okay, we're going to do this function setup here for that uh, Marco had suggested to do this function. So you kind of see how the logic works. And here, here's the first thing. So what you do is you highlight the gate in the programming function logic. So down here to go. Okay, it's program logic. So we're say we were up in uh, example. You're looking at your these are your programmable switches. Okay, so you go down to program logic, and then we go up here to gate. We're going to use gate two because I already used gate. One, you double highlight blue there, double click, and as you see, you got the input. You say he's got a filter one, and you got a desire, desired uh, feed pause time, 60 seconds, and you, then you set it to delayed on. You got all these different functions you can have, and you're going to use basically the delayed on function. And we're going to call this in the system feed pause. See how it's set it feed pause, you can type anything in here. And um, then you hit the OK button. The next function, double click on it. We're going to set it as uh, going here maintenance. You can have all these different types of functions. And this one's going to be called a maintenance function. So we find maintenance, press it there. We're going to use input one, which you have a source of full inputs. So we're using input one. Then we're going to click on this little box where it says invert. That inverts it. And we're going to call this function here maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, we're going to set the desired time of maintenance. We're going to set it at 600 seconds. And we're going to set this function to be delayed on. See how it's set delayed on right here? You got all these different types. You can delay off. Or you can have delay on. Okay, so we're going to use delay on in this case. Hit OK. Next uh, function we're going to set up, the next gate we're going to set up function is, is uh, the programming logic for this. And here you go here, programming, okay, go down list, okay, programming logic, and you have this many different types of programming logic cells up to 32. We're going to use number one programming logic. We're not going to invert it. Say OK. Next, we go to the next step. We go again, programming logic. We have a list, programming logic. And we're going to pick it, programming logic two. We're going to say OK, and we're going to use the AND function. The AND function. And then we're going to go OK. So now what we want to do, we want to go back to our switches. Our sockets. These are your switches or sockets on your or your programmable power bar. And we're going to go to here, say, as an example. We're going to set the programming logic to three. We're going to call this the lay skimmer.
and so then when you hit callback function return pop and skimmer will shut off and after 10 minutes the feed pause is over and my return skimmer turns back on the skimmer doesn't turn back on for another 10 minutes after that I hit maintenance and once again my pump and skimmer shut off after 30 minutes I return pump turns back on and the skimmer stays shut for the liar additional minute so that's how you set up the programming logic for a a uh, switch which is this will be switch number nine on my um, power bar and I'll just okay and uh, that's all you have to do to set it up and then you can try it out I always recommend trying it out before you hook it up to a um, actually I'm running is to maybe just use a light bulb to try it out put you a little a, um, an extra uh, light in the house or something you can just plug into it and see if it works or you could use a pump in a bucket of water to try it out and see if it works before you actually put it into service on your on your equipment so I hope that uh, explains a little bit about it how to set up a uh, programming logic on a uh, socket on your power bar.